Okay. What's up? What's up? Hello. How's it going? Can you guys hear me? This feels weird. Oh, good. I don't know if you can see like the, the testing portion of me messing with the stream. Make sure it looks good. <laughs> cool. If you guys can hear me okay, then I think we're doing it. I think we're live. I think we're all good. So, uh, first of all, shout out and thank you. Well, my camera is normally over here and now it's over here. Um, for the time being, just kind of for this video, because I think there might be some other commotion going on. Um, now that you're over here, I can talk to you <laughs> rather than looking over there. Uh, cool. Audio is good. Sweet, sweet. Thanks, everybody. I love you guys just floating in. So, wow, there are a lot of you guys tuning in. You guys are awesome. First of all, shout out and thank you to James. James was, like, before the stream started, he was like, hey have some support so thank you thank you thank you i cannot say it enough welcome everybody uh i see a lot of people mad hatter x cranberry badger zestrix arkita sanctification zestrix i don't know if i said that already i probably did <laughs> some of these names i can't even pronounce but thanks it's good to see everybody is my stream doing weird things now or is that just the display yeah that's just the display okay sweet Let's do stuff. Um, so, backdrop, a little bit of background as to what the heck I'm doing. Um, I wanted to put together a little hangout stream. Uh, I wanted a stream to begin with. I wanted to put a video out today, and I wanted to put a video out tomorrow and the next day, and as many days as I can. So, finally, I sat down and made a lot of Try Hack Me videos. So, I have like 10 of them already made and prepared and ready to be rolled out. Uh, so, I would like to release them and still like, hey, keep you guys fulfilled, keep the YouTube algorithm, you know, doing its thing, digesting content and spitting it out to people to kind of help keep the channel growing because we're at like 75,000 now, which is incredible. Thank you guys. If you're watching and you aren't subscribed, you know what I'm going to say. <laughs> uh, but thanks. Thanks for everything that you guys do. This is a uh, video that I wanted to do or a stream at least, to kind of fill the gap because I want today there to be some content for you guys. And I wanted to keep in mind, wow, I've got 10 Try Hack Me videos kind of in the backlog and I want to be producing, I want to, I want to be releasing those. So I thought, well, let's go ahead and make the thumbnails because I haven't made those yet. Um, I want to take those 10 videos and I want to, I want to release them Tuesdays and Thursdays. I think that would be cool. I think that would be good. So there's a day and another day. There's a day and a gap. So it's not extremely overwhelming and there's still content for you guys and the Triacme stuff is, is rolling out. Um, so please expect that. And that would mean tomorrow being Tuesday, I should release a Triacme video tomorrow. But I need to go ahead and make the thumbnails for it. So uh, I wanted to get your input while I'm making these thumbnails. I saw Live Overflow do this. I saw Live Overflow said like in a Twitch stream, he was making a thumbnail and everyone was like helping him out, making it really clickbaity and fun. So now I want to do that with you or try that. And it gives me a little bit something to do during the stream and it also makes it a hangout stream. So uh, we're hanging out. If you guys have any questions for me, feel free to shout it out in the chat. I've got it monitored up here on my other screen so I can see it, but I guess I'll just go ahead and get to it. So before I do that, though, I had another thought that I wanted to share with you. Um, while I have Try Hack Me videos coming out on Tuesdays and Thursdays, which will fill for like the next month, which I'm really pleased with, it gives me a little bit of backlog and some room to record other things. Um, this past weekend, I've been playing Army Cyber Stakes, which has been a fantastic, cool game. Uh, Capture the Flag that's been going out and has been rolling since Friday and is now, I guess, going to end coming on Sunday. So I've solved a decent amount of challenges on there. I think I got to a decent place. Where am I on the scoreboard? I think Caleb just passed me. Yep, just passed me. Civilian side, I'm still doing A-OK. -okay, so I'm cool with that. But I want to make videos for some of the challenges in here because there's a lot that are really, really good and really, really cool. Um, it sounds like someone asked me on, on Twitter... Someone asked me on Twitter when I shared Army Cyber Stakes uh, sharing and tweeting about this competition in the CTF uh, that I was so excited to play it. 
they said, uh, someone messaged and said like, Hey, or they responded to a tweet and said, Hey, are you going to end up streaming or recording any of this? And I was like, I don't think they would particularly like any streams of real challenges while the game is going on. Cause that would be kind of bad. Um, it, like leaking challenges and real flags and stuff like that. But after the fact, after the competition is over, they're totally cool with video write-ups. So I'm like, sweet, I'd like to do that. And because I've solved actually a decent amount of these, and at least I feel like I have, <laughs> and uh, a lot of them are really, really in-depth and really complex and really cool, maybe I could start to fill these in on that Monday, Wednesday, Friday slots so I could have, okay, five days a week, here we'll have videos. Um, Monday, Cyber Stakes. Tuesday, Try Hack Me. Wednesday, Cyber Stakes. Thursday, Try Hack Me. Etc. Um, I'd like to fill in some other stuff in that time period because I know I have a lot of stuff on the list. I need to get my uh, eLearn Security eCPPT review video out for you guys. I actually started the editing on that um, and that should come together soon. I also need to get OSWE for Offensive Security Web Exploitation out into the world because a lot of you guys are asking for that. Um, I'd like to record some videos making the challenges that you might have seen in VersetCon for my original CTF. Um, hope to be doing another CTF probably with some other groups in July and I'm making some challenges for that which should be really fun. I also have another project, a little pet project I'd like to do to kind of have my own online like over the wire thing or like try hack me thing. Not as big or as cool as like try hack me or hack the box but I'd like to put something out there that would be a cool, fun exercise and, and war game and, and practice range that would be fun and interesting. So I have, a, I have some ideas for that. So... Hopefully that can come together in the future. Anyway, we're just hanging out. Um, can you uh, give me a chance to look at the messages? Because I know a lot of you guys have been asking me something. What is your resolution for your thumbnails? 1920 by 1080. I think there is a custom one. So YouTube thumbnail size. There's a specific resolution. Yeah, 1280 by 720. Ratio of 1619 is ideal. So that's what I end up using. 1620 uh, excuse me, 1280 by 720. And I have some videos that use that. Um, that's kind of my, in GIMP, that's my thumbnail dot base template that I use and edit all the time. Another question is, John, can you please share your ideas on how we can monetize the knowledge and skills that you're sharing? Legal ways, obviously. Um, are you asking how you can monetize yourself doing this sort of thing? I mean, I feel like it's stupid to say, start a YouTube channel. <laughs> like that's, that's kind of what I've been doing. We've been doing creating capture the flag challenges, creating training, creating exercises and giving that to people. Once, uh, once we did VersetCon, it was kind of incredible. Now a lot of people, VersetCon CTF was the capture the flag competition that came with VersetCon or the virtual security conference that, uh, Heath Adams or the cyber mentor put together with Ben Singler. I always fail pronouncing his last name and I'm so sorry, Ben Namsek. Uh, and they also had some incredible speakers between Chloe Mastagi and the ethical hacker, the guys over at EHnet, uh, stock for one thing. I always screw up his name too, but they're fantastic people and they do awesome stuff. Uh, so I was very grateful and flattered when they asked me, would you be willing to do a capture the flag? So we put together VersetCon with some of my challenges that I had and we put it on like the worldwide stage. So we had like 3,000 people that registered and play and it was crazy and it was really, really, it seemed to be successful. It seemed to be really good. Now people are kind of asking, John, are you willing to put on a CTF for us? And I'm like, this is wonderful. This is, this finally happened. <laughs> so uh, I think some guys over, there's a company that asked it, in a specific location that I will not say the names of that would be comfortable doing that. And they were willing to offer compensation, which is fantastic. So in the realm of monetization, when people ask that, um, yeah, put yourself out there, share what you do, write blog posts, make videos, have a stupid thing on Instagram or like Snapchat. It doesn't matter. Just get yourself out there so people can see you because attention is kind of what's really important. It seems, but I don't know. I'm, I'm, I don't know any of this stuff. <laughs> uh, other questions before I dive into gimping and making thumbnails. Please share your knowledge, etc. Try with C Sharp and Python. Katana is still in beta. Will there be any updates to it in the future? Katana. Yeah. Um, Katana is in alpha, dude. <laughs> Katana's not even in a release state yet. 
Um, Katana's out in public now, um, still buggy, still has issues. And I, I, we've mentioned, hey, our lives are kind of in the way now, and we're letting this go and out in the world so that if people want to hack on it, they can, but we may not be able to due to life and time. So that is where Katana is. We made it open source for reasons, so if you guys wanted to make any changes to it or, or supply any pull requests, you're more than welcome to. Um, we've seen a couple of issues starting to come in, and we're starting to work with those. But a lot of those are like, hey, getting it set up and getting dependencies, in which case we tell them to use the Docker image because that's what Docker is for. <laughs> anyway, that's Katana. Do you think you'll create a Udemy course for conquering CTFs? A lot of people have asked, hey, would you be willing to make a Udemy course? And I, I trust me, I want to. Trust me, I, that, I think that would be incredible for one thing to share the knowledge and to encapsulate it and containerize it and to make it a package, like a wrapped and coordinated and with, with a trajectory and with a guided curriculum, a step-by-step -step guided stepping stones, right? The same words I've already said, to learn. And that would be awesome. It's going to take me a lot of time to put that together. It's also trying to, it makes me think about what could I do that would actually be worthwhile and meaningful because a lot of people have done a lot of stuff already on Udemy and I would feel like a shill or, or stupid if I like, oh, try, hack, excuse me, uh, the Cyber Mentor, Heath, put out incredible courses between the practical, like ethical hacking and the pen testing and the stuff that he does and with windage, Windows privilege escalation and Linux privilege escalation. I would love to do stuff like that. But, I mean, it's already been done, you know? Um, I could showcase Python for pen testing. Uh, I could do a course on CTFs, but, well, CTFs in a course, I don't know how well that would go. Like, I feel like when people talk about CTFs, there's, there's a cluster of people that say, oh, it's a capture the flag. Like, it's a game. It's, it's too gamified. It's not real world. And that's stupid, and I hate it. But sometimes I have a point. If your CTF is asking you to do something like, oh, uh, unravel these puzzle pieces so you could guess the solution and there might be a flag that comes out. Uh, that sucks, right? So I'm trying to think of something that's real world and applicable and worthwhile. Uh, and it would be incredible because that would help me and it would help everyone, but it might do some things. Have you been using for Katana? Have been using Katana for ACI? No, I have not. Hi, John. I really want to pursue computing in my future. Please suggest a programming language to learn and how to use it. Learn Python um, and Google how to learn Python. That's a shitty answer. I'm really sorry, but that's the answer. <laughs> like Python, definitely. If you want to start in C or C++, I need to get better on C and C++. I'm not going, to going through some of the challenges for Cyber 6. I was like, holy crap, I need to review C. Okay, people are asking me to actually do stuff now, and I guess it's been like almost 15 minutes. Will I do some hacking or gimping today? I'm going to do gimping. How to start CTFs for beginners. Pico CTF. I have videos on my channel. Kelly Links is good, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All right. Let's shut up and make some gimps. So check it out. Here are the videos that I need to go ahead and get uploaded for you. So I have some from the Hackpack CTF that I want to showcase. Uh, I have a lot of Try Hack Me stuff that I want to put out. I think chronologically in the order of the things that I recorded, Kenobi came first, I recorded first, and then Pickle Rick came after. So if I want to release something tomorrow, I would like to release probably Pickle Rick, unless there's anything else that you guys are like dying to see and don't want to wait that long amount of time. How long have you been playing CTFs? How many CTFs have you been playing? Or how many years have you been playing CTFs? Uh, I guess I started like five years ago or six years ago. Yeah, it's 2020 now. So 2015. Did I ever do the Pwn Adventure game? I have not. I've seen Live Overflow doing some incredible stuff making that, uh, making that series, but I have not yet messed with it. Okay, so when I open up GIMP, GIMP is kind of what I edit all my thumbnails in. GIMP is with a YouTube thumbnails directory. I have a thumbnail.xcf or the GIMP kind of template that I could load and use. All the others are just PNG file because I've saved and exported them. But you can see, hey, there are the thumbnails for everything else that I've kind of been putting out lately between Vulnversity and Try Hack Me Kenobi and all of those and all of those. But they're just the PNG file. They're the flat image. So I want to go ahead and grab this XCF. So this one 
is literally the thumbnail for the stream itself. So let's like muff this around. Let's go ahead and grab like a thumbnail or a layer and we can just kind of like, okay, make a good mess out of this. There I go. I'm image editing. <laughs> this should be the this should be the new thumbnail for this stream. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and make something for Pickle Rick. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just clear all of these layers out. And let's kind of get an idea as to what we want our thing to look like. So activities, it, uh, I guess it's in my rooms, right? Can I look through here? Is Pickle Rick in here? Pickle Rick. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and spin this up just so I can kind of review and remind myself what the page looks like. But they have some good images in here already that I might just kind of steal. Uh, close, close, go back. He doesn't have a banner. For this, this room doesn't have a banner, so I can't steal that art. But we do have an IP address, so let's go ahead and see if we can go mess with this. I will move into my try hack me directory so I can go ahead and make my VPN connection. Looking at my keyboard with the microphone in the way. Now let's go ahead and see if that box is up. Might still take a little bit of time. We could Google, like, Pickle Rick, but who knows what might come up. <laughs> Probably the quality content that you guys really came for. So we could look for Rick and Morty, get some images with that. First, I want a big image. Like, I want something that's, like, something that could be the background, right? All right, let's not showcase that for more than 25 seconds so we don't get copyright. He's up. The box is alive. Great. Let's see. So he's got this banner, and that would be kind of cool. Let's take him. He is in assets rickandmorty.jpg. Can I just right-click? I can't right-click that. Why can I not view image on that? So I'll actually solve this box in the video that will be released tomorrow, but for our hangout stream, for a little chill session, we are just... Uh, wow, that's a big image. Let's slap that in. And make it the size that we need. I also kind of want to make that a little bit faded. So let's make another layer that's like just straight black. And then let's take this guy over it and bring his opacity, excuse me, bring his opacity down. So, all right. Reviewing questions, do I need to learn C language as a beginner for penetration testing? Uh, not necessarily. It's good to know, but it's definitely a must-have eventually. If you're a beginner, you don't need to. Okay. Now that we got this thing, let's go grab more pictures. So that's the image. There was a login.php here. Is that actually a white background? It is actually a white background, so I don't want to use that. That'd be kind of lame and stupid. Um, let's grab an actual Pickle Rick image, though. Ideally one with a background, like a transparent background. I don't know how likely we're going to get on one of those. Oh, what about you, eBay? I mean, I guess I could kind of, like, steal that. How big is that? That's 400 by 400. This guy is much smaller. That's a good image, but I see some faded lines in there. How about you? That's good. You also have faded lines in there. Let's use you. I'm probably totally not going to be able to monetize this, this video. <laughs> Can I paste this image, please? Thank you. All right, let's make him a new layer. Let's go ahead and select just that background so we can nerf that. And let's make that a little bit bigger. Whoa, what the, what just happened? Why is, is this image like not everything that it should be right now? I'm just gonna close out a GIMP. Let's just get up to where we were and uh, save GIMP from doing that again. Never mind. Clean slate. I don't want a recently used image. I want the actual image. 
Do I use Evil WinRM? Uh, I should because I should be doing much more Windows boxes and actually beating some of them up. Uh, right now, I don't all that much, but I know that it is probably like one of the best things to use for actually getting some code execution on Windows. If you ever need, I could take care of some thumbnails for you. Yes, please. Yes, yes, please. I feel like such a jerk whenever I'm kind of in my Discord. I'm like, hey, anyone want to make video, <laughs> video thumbnails for me? Because I'd rather be focusing on actually making the yiggles. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'd actually much rather be focusing on making the videos as in rather than making the thumbnails, but I know the thumbnails is like one of the most important parts and like most important things on getting YouTube traffic, which is kind of important for the stuff that I do. <laughs> so I would, I would love that. If you were in the Discord server and you're willing to shout cast me or give me a little message, I would uh, be very, very grateful. If someone else is willing to take on this extra task. Let's kill that. Okay. Let's make him a little bit bigger. Do you think this is going to be a good thumbnail? Port in your donations. So thank you, thank you. Now let's grab this logo. See if we can get this guy. Slip him in. Oh, he's really tiny. Let's grab something else. We need a try hack me logo for dumb, for certain. Which uh, which one is really good to use? I think the gray would probably look best. Let's kind of close out all of that. We should probably select by color. Nice. Okay. I got a good try hack me logo in there. A stupid pickle Rick. Um, let's rotate him a little bit. Let's put a, another like black backdrop in there. Let's fill that. Good. And now let's take that and rotate it. So this guy has a kind of stupid and cheesy, but at least working little size shift. Bring him down. Is that big enough? Is that big enough? It looks big enough. Yeah. Good. So now let's make that its own layer. And let's darken that just a little bit. So try hack me, still kind of visible. Still bright, brighter than the others. Let's move our pickle Rick up so we can see him. I feel like do we need more noise in this? Do we need like a little hacking logo? Because we could just simply put like right down here, hey, this is our uh, like Pickle Rick CTF from Try Hack Me. What is the thing that we actually do in that? This is meta. What do we do? We run commands, we get a shell. We throw our hands up in the air. Not spoiling the video for tomorrow. Pickle Rick CTF. Should we get some other like binary in there? I feel like we gotta shrink this uh, Try Hack Me logo because it's huge, man. What's going on? Why can't I? F oh, no, you're right here. That's where you are. Let's turn that down. That gives us a little bit more flexibility with this giant fade, too. Do we need some more Rick and Morty images in here? <laughs> I 
they need to hurry up and release some new episodes, by the way. Like, I know they said, what, they have they have a dates out now for their, for their new episodes, don't they? Because I know they got through, like, half of season five, or excuse me, season four. And we, we've been watching them, but All right, we don't need any more of that. Let's just go put some hack stuff in here. Hacking. Google search hacking. This is really, this is really what it looks like. That's me right there. <laughs> My phone's going off. Hey, John, I started Try Hack Me four days ago because of you. Thank you. Hey, man, thank you. Try Hack Me is fantastic. I think it's a really, really excellent platform. I think it's really great. Put some red arrows in there. Oh, Nightwolf's here. Nightwolf's hanging out in the house. Sweet, dude. Thanks for coming to hang out, guys. All right. How do we look? We need to put in some, like, bash shell. You know? I've used that image before. I use it in Try Hack Me Kenobi, so that wouldn't be cool to use. Um, we could get, like, command line... That one's a little too narrow. Oh, that one might work. Command line icon. Is that a good thing to look for? Yeah. That could work. We need, I want something white. We need a little bit more contrast in here. How about you? Are you actually white or are you transparent? Because you look transparent. It's large. Nothing wrong with that. Where did that go? What the heck? Did I copy and paste nothing? View image. Copy image. That's kind of tiny now, actually, now that I've looked at it. Do we want that in there? Put it over on the top left? Well, the black is going to be, like, not seen. So, maybe we could use that one. This one over here. Looks funky. I'm going to get so many people that are watching. Uh, going to go watch Rick and Morty now. Now that I've started the craze. <laughs> Have I used Project Ares? Uh, Project Ares is one of the army training ones, training platforms, isn't it? I think I got access to it and then played around with it, but like a lot of the challenges were like video games, right? And that was kind of strange. <laughs> I, I didn't I didn't like all that that much. I remember like trying to solve regular expressions with like a little pea shooter, like a little gun. And that was weird. Let's get a let's get a friggin' Linux penguin in here. Let's just get Tux. I don't know why I wasn't thinking of doing that. Thanks, Wikipedia. That's way too small. Never mind, Wikipedia. There's a big one somewhere. That's cropped. Club penguin. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Rest in peace, club penguin. You versus the guy she <laughs> Where is the stinking high quality Linux picture? I guess I'll just use this crappy one. Not that it's that crappy. It's really good. It's just not the sleek and shiny one that we're normally expecting. Boom. Now Tux is ginormous. He's, oh, why does that happen? If you hold down shift, it like re it like rotates your view of Oh, that's so weird. I don't like that one bit of GIMP. It like rotates your view of GIMP. I've never actually done that before. So I'm kind of, I was like, why is this happening? I was very confused. We could move the Try Hack Me logo and then make our Linux Tux guy like turn him around, flip his, la flip his layer. 
So it's like Pickle Rick and Linux are like having a nice little meaning. <laughs> They're just talking it out. Or we could just continue to make him small. Why is this happening? Oh my God. I promise I'm good with GIMP. Not really, but now he's just kind of real tiny, but you know what? Beggars can't be choosers, okay? I don't need to kill any of these pages. We should grab the Pickle Rick image, actually, though, just to have it in there. What is that? That's not, that's just friggin' Tux again. There you go. Put them over like the top, right? What? Now, select by color. Move that white. Nope, don't select by color because there are some others in there. Let's uh, grab all that. Oh, we should probably amp the threshold up a little bit to make the white. Or we could just grab a stinking circle select and get the good stuff in there. That... And that, the rest of that image can die. What did you just do? What? I only want what's inside the image, not what's around it, you fool. It's probably just me not being able to successfully work with GIMP. There we go. Okay, perfect. Now, I have just the circle, like I wanted to begin with. Don't stop, stop rotating GIMP itself. God, that's disorienting. <laughs> you have to like, you have to click in it to let it move. No, now it just won't let go. Let me change the size of this, thank God. And he's still like, he still has a weird thing on the edge. Maybe that's just the ball that he's in? I don't know. Okay, quality content, here we go. Now let's go ahead and just say what the heck we're doing here. Do you, what, do you think that text should be in like yellow or something? Why is Tux up so high? He doesn't need to be over there. Okay. Let's use some yellow text so it's nice and bold and flashy. It's not yellow. I, oh, 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 I hate that GIMP has like random choices of where you're gonna put your color in. There we go. So let's use Ubuntu Bold because I like to use that font. We'll be like Pickle Rick, capture the flag. Dang. Wow, now you're no longer Ubuntu Bold. Ubuntu Bold. Is that really Ubuntu Bold? That looks kind of small. Let's make that good and large. We should probably move that to make it even bigger and let's move him up to the side. That doesn't seem bright enough. It still looks like not... He, he probably needs like a white bezel around it pickle rick maybe you just need like a sharper yellow that just still looks bad Wah. pickle rick capture the flag that's like too tiny maybe we can move some of our guys let's move our little characters move tux Move little Pickle Rick. Move that try hack me up a little bit more. I want that to be like 140 pixels. Like I want that to be as big as we can get it. I wouldn't add the Pickle Rick text? Really? All right, so. Reviewing what everyone is saying. Why GIMP? Uh, what else? How has teleworking 24-7 been going for me? Uh, I actually started to do that 
a while ago, even before the whole quarantine thing. And I love it because I can actually do like schedule my time, which is great. Great live stream. Keep up the great work. We're just hanging out, dude. How long have we been doing this? I don't know how many of you guys are hanging out. I don't know why you would even want to watch this. Use white text with the pickle green around it. Ooh, that's a good idea. A little light yellow. The white might look good. If we have the bezel, though, we would like need to make sure that we have the white outline. We could fade the trihackme a little bit or shrink that down. Where is he? There he is. Having that uh, background image does make it like a little, little too crazy. Hmm. Remove the tux. You know what? You're right. Yeah. I think we should remove the tux because then we can actually make the text kind of as big as we want. Like even bigger than that. So. Pickle Rick. Capture the flag. Let's um, turn that space size down. That, that yellow is, I'm hating, I'm hating that yellow as I look at it more and more. Like we could do, we could do straight white, but then we should probably turn down our Try Hack Me logo. Just like fade him a little bit. Mm. Should we amp up our black up here? Change the opacity on this guy? Starting to look better. Make try hacking a little bit smaller, same size as the globe. So I would actually make the globe a little bit smaller. We could stroke it with green. We could do that. Depends on like what kind of green we want. Uh, let's switch this to black. And let's duplicate or like make a new layer from that. I always struggle with this thing. I also have random M's floating around. <laughs> I want a new layer like from that visible. Well, that's too much. Let's just duplicate this. So I have the original and then let's do a select by color this guy and then grow it by five. And then what color green? Like a dark green? Like that. And then move our text underneath it. Pickle Rick, capture the flag. <laughs> That's so dumb. We, let's, let's turn that one down a little bit more. Maybe move our black trihackme. Move our little Rick. Make try hack me red. Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Rick and Morty computer, where there's a great background where Rick sits in front of four terminals? What? Rick and Morty computer. That got me, that got me moving. <laughs> I remember that episode. That's so funny. Look at, look at him. Like mid belch. <laughs> nice. Make it red, not green. Huh. Okay. So, like this guy, like a, 
What are you doing? Get out of here. Stop. I need my bucket tool. Whoa. Let's get all that and let's fill it in all with red. So that would look like that. Like, I feel like it'd have to be a, like a lighter red. Or a darker red, I'm sorry. Zoom out a bit so we can see what it would look like in our recommendations. It would look like that right now. I really don't like that red, I'll be honest. Like in your recommendations, if we were to make it like a darker bezel, turn him down a little bit more. An outline of the pickle rick text, but inside the white? Uh, I don't know, I don't know if I wanna do that. We could. Let's use a darker red, because I feel like the red could look really good if it were, like, dark. You know? Whoa! I am in the wrong layer. Pickle Rick. Well, see, that looks, that looks, would look better, right? What do you think? Now I want our now I want our try hack me to be a little bit brighter. Part of me feels like that looks good. Like I would be happy with that, to be honest. Stick with green. A lot of people are like people like the green. Do I stick with green? Stick with green. This is so funny. You ever play you ever seen a Twitch plays Pokemon? It feels like I'm doing, like, live Twitch plays Pokemon, except I'm Twitch. <laughs> Brighter color will catch the eye more easily. Should we amp this up? Make Trihack a little bit brighter? A little bit brighter? Maybe move our... Pickle Rick text down. I'm not bringing the bezel with it, so it's going to look really funky. I hate doing that so much. I so hate doing that. <laughs> what do you guys think? Would you watch that? Would you see that as a thumbnail? I feel like he's a little too too bright now at the bottom. Oh, is the audio acting up? Lower the pickle rig text. Add a small red arrow from the top right to the pickle rig for the memes. Hayes, you know you're right, but I can't I can't afford to do that on my channel. <laughs> I would watch that. Try the pickle green. No, green. 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 A lot of green. A lot of green. Make the green even brighter. Like the pickle rick text brighter? What? Bigger, maybe? Let me let me grab that color. Shift O. Or it's supposed to be anyway. It says it's shift O. It is. Wow. Okay. No, select the stinking color now. Why do you do that every time? Oh, I need the pipette. Not select by color. I guess I kind of need both. Like, it could be like that. Oh, boy. Uh, I don't like it. I just don't like it. You know? The circular PNG over on the top. This guy? Like the globe? Like I could be I would be more than happy just to nerf that guy. Where is he? He's over here? Yeah. I really don't like the bright text green. We're gonna stick it with green. The dark green. But see, it feels like it's too boring without it. 
you know? Try the inverse, like the green text and the white background. Uh. You guys really like it without the globe? Seriously? I feel like that's like too boring. I feel like we got to have something over there in the top. <laughs> we, I feel like we definitely need to move that text a little higher. Maybe make the pickle Rick bigger. You think? Oh, red meme arrow. Red meme arrow. You're, you're totally right. Red arrow. We could totally do that. Which of these arrows is best? <laughs> like this one? I like this one. Uh, I don't think that has a plain background. Put my face in the background. I don't have any good face pictures. I hate putting my face in the background. Like I'm Morty. Like put my face over on Morty. <laughs> This one. This is the one. That. I want that. Okay. What is happening? <laughs> View image. Why does it render like that? That's so hilariously stupid. It's viewed it as a HTML, but it's not. Copy image. Can I just paste it from that? I can. Alright, let's move this guy up. Let's move him, point him that way, and let's shrink him down a little bit. Yeah? This? This guy? You think? What do you think? I feel like that needs to be a little brighter. Maybe move the black part in the background so we can better see what's behind it. Yeah. Yeah. That's really just to add the backdrop for Try Hack Me. So we could probably like fudge that. Maybe move his opacity down. Make the arrow brighter. Yeah, we definitely need the arrow to be brighter. Can we do that? Um, brightness and contrast. Brightness. Amp it up, dude. We need more contrast if we do that. That looks good to me. <laughs> okay. I feel like I'm satisfied with this. Are you? Should we move this black background part to like not be there and hide the try hack me or should we remove the try hack me? I don't like doing that. Honestly, I, I feel like I need to have the try hack me name in there. 10 out of 10 would watch. Amp the pickle up, like make him bigger. I'm amping up the pickle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn. That's a pickle, if I ever did see. Do you think we should do anything with the black, or should I just leave it? I feel like I want to I feel like I want to leave it. Oh, now we, now we need to make the pickle Rick text bigger. You're right. We can. Leave it be. Leave it be. We need the black. Looks better with the shaded background. Stop messing with it. <laughs> Twitch plays GIMP. <laughs> Twitch plays John Hammond YouTube channel. <laughs> Don't I think the arrow thing is a little too much? 
I mean, we can shrink it down with that. I was putting in the arrow because I feel like it did add something, like to make it like it's there. Leave it, leave it alone. Everyone says leave it. Holy cow! Angle him. Okay. Let's put the glow back in. No, let's not put the glow back in. Zoomed out, so it looks like a... Okay. I feel like this is good. I feel like this is good. Alex, I see you, brother. Thanks for hanging out. Tiny Whiny, Pickle Rick, Capital Flag. We're good. We good? We're good. I'm going to call it good. Okay. Great thumbnail. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Let's go ahead and export this. Pickle Rick. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for helping me make the best thumbnail that we've ever had. Oh, where did he put it? Where the heck did you save that, Gimp? You put it in thumbnails. Oh, oh. Pickle Rick. Yeah. Looks a little blurry when it's on that 100%, but uh, when it's actually thumbnail. This has been a lot of fun. This has been good. So if we release Pickle Rick tomorrow, if we release this video tomorrow, and... It does well because all of you go watch it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, then we could do this on Wednesday and we could release something. You know what? We should do it for Hack Pack because I have the Hack Pack video and that CTF ended. So I have one challenge I wanted to showcase for that because it's a cookie forging with flask session cookies. That was kind of cool. So maybe we could do that, but that would be cool to go up on Wednesday. So, I don't really want to stream twice, but I, I really want to wrap this up because we're almost at an hour. I think it'd be good to round it out. So, let's wrap it up, dude. I'm going to turn my brightness up so I look like I'm really washed out. Ah, good. All right, let's done. So that's what you can expect. Um, we should do some more of these. It sounds like it sounds like you guys. It sounds like that was kind of fun. I hope that was a lot of fun. I don't know how there are so many of you guys still watching. That's crazy to me. <laughs> so we need to do that for Dog Cat. Ooh, Dog Cat would be really fun to get out on on Thursday. I'm um, getting a PTY, so I feel like I feel bad we have to wait that long. But I do want to uh, put content out at that pace so YouTube is happy, so we can keep the channel growing because that's kind of what I would like to do. I'd like to keep, keep in the running, you know, keep, uh, keep water in that flower. But this stuff is on the way. Um, maybe another day, super duper soon, maybe Wednesday, uh, we could do another stream like this and you guys can help me design the thumbnail for dog cat, which would be kind of fun. What just happened? Let's get another, let's keep looking at arrows and pictures of Rick. <laughs> Tryhackme.com, Dogcat, it's in my rooms. Dogcat was really, really cool because it was a uh, little PHP filters to get your local file inclusion. What? What? Oh, it's in my rooms. Is it not? Did I not do it on this, on this account? Maybe I didn't. Dogcat, Dogcat, apparently I didn't do it on that account. Okay. That one would be really, really cool. Uh, I'm excited for that. So we'll do that. Let's wrap up the stream, guys. How should we do it? We made a thumbnail. So we can release this tomorrow. Get ready. Get excited for the little instant premiere to show up. Is the audio out of sync for everyone? I feel bad. I don't like that it's out of, out of sync. But... Let's do this again. This is a, it sounds like a lot of people like this, and I don't know why the heck so many of you guys are watching, but what we could do to end this stream is we could, like, dance around with Pickle Rick. Let's grab him. 
No, no, no. Stop. M. What is that? What even layer is it? Are you... Or no. Make the globe go away. Make the pickle rig text go away. Now we just have a little boy Rick and his time to play. My mouse and just make him bounce, like my touch screen and just bounce him around. Can I rotate him? Not very easily. We should like put this in Kivi. We should make like a, uh, we should make a little touch screen application where we can just rotate and do some weird uh, image massaging. <laughs> touch screen. Cool. That was fun. Thanks guys. It'll be very fun to do that on Wednesday because if we're going to be doing dog cat, then all we have to do is go scrape the internet for cute pictures of dogs <laughs> and cute pictures of cats. And Lord knows there are a lot of options with that. So, all right, we're wrapping up at the five o'clock point for me. So we've been going for just about an hour, but this was a lot of fun. Uh, please get excited for that video tomorrow if you guys are interested in tuning in for that. And um, thanks so much. Love to see you guys on the Discord server. I'll, I'll throw the link in here because some people might come jam. I'll throw the link in there once I stink and get it. So yeah, I use GIMP because of uh, a lot of uh, open source software, dude. Freedom. Free. Are there questions that I should have responded to? We got two minutes here. Yeah, be aware of the Google copyright of images. Yeah. That's why I'm like kind of sketched out, but whatever, we'll do it. YouTube thumbnails, EOG, Pickle Rick, bam. Check that out. Dog with sunglasses. Thumbnail, everybody. Great job to you. Thanks. <laughs> Sweet. Goodbye, all. I'm gonna stop the stream. I have to figure out how YouTube does this with their new live dashboard too.